everybody, Fran and Kim with Jump Realty here. Uh, this is normally where I say it's Wednesday and it's noon, but it's Monday. Full disclosure, I'm pre-recording this because I will be celebrating Rosh Hashanah for the next two days. So, Shana Tova to everybody, which is a good year. So I wish everybody out there, regardless of your religion, health and happiness and blessings and peace this year. Um, so let's get into it. Real estate. Labor Day weekend's over. Fall's coming. What is going on? Some people say the bubble's going to pop. Some people say the market's going to crash. Kind of the same thing in a way, but not really. Um, there's an election coming. There's a fourth wave. There's some restrictions. Vaccine passport. We're not getting into the politics, but all of this will affect housing. Um, I have it up on my site, the uh, each party's positions on housing policy. So you can look into that. But what I want to talk about today, and it, I know we've talked about it before, but it bears repeating, and I'm talking to buyers right now, is what to remember when you're buying. Just a couple things. Remember when you're doing showings that sellers most likely are recording you. You're going into their house. There's some security and privacy issues. And then you see a nest. You see a Alexa. I don't have one, so whatever her name is, Siri, in the house. Assume from the moment you stand on the driveway until you get in your car and you leave that you are being recorded. And why that's important is because not to give away your position. Don't give away your bargaining position. It's beyond, don't just say, oh my God, I love this house, or oh my God, their decor, it's crazy. Nothing about when you're leaving, when your closing date is, what your deposit is, what your budget is, what you like, what you dislike, anything. Poker face. They will take whatever information they can glean and apply it somewhere to what they think, and you don't want that, okay? Number two, there's a lot of talk with you know mortgages and interest rates and everything like that. Remember, you still need cash. You need closing costs. You need land transfer tax. You need to pay your lawyer. You need to pay the home inspector. So don't max so much out on your budget and your mortgage that you don't have some cash back. Um, that also, when it comes to mortgages and everything like that, once you're pre-approved for a mortgage, don't go changing your job. Don't go on a big vacation. Don't buy a big truck. Everything has to stay the same until closing date to make sure that the final appraisal goes through. So keep that in mind when you get your mortgage. If you know you're going to have a big expense coming up or not, plan for that. Pull the cash out aside and put it somewhere. Okay? Don't go buying your furniture until you get in the house. You can pick it out and surf Wayfair, but don't go buying it until then. <laughs> okay. And the other thing I want to mention is what I call now aspirational budgeting which is, there's what my budget is, there's what the market is, and there's what I think, aspirationally, I should be living. Your budget is your budget, your mortgage is your mortgage, not every house is your dream house. A lot of them are steps in the pathway to your dream house. So if you can't get what you want, the first house or right now, you can buy and resell in a year or two, or in five years, and build equity. That's why you buy a house, is to build equity, right? If you buy an investment property, it's not necessarily about cash flow. It's about building equity and appreciation. So keep that in mind when you're looking at a house. I know it's a very emotional decision and you want to love where you are, but it is an emotional business decision, okay? Sometimes you buy the car that fits your budget or you get a second job if you want a different car, okay? So if your budget isn't working what you like, then you have to take a step back and look at if what you're, what's going on with your finances and deal with that. So as much as sellers nowadays and in the last year have been, you know, aspirational pricing and pricing at what they think they want, again, they have to go by the facts as well, just like you have to do when you're a buyer. Okay? So just a little overview and review to keep in mind, poker face, hold some cash back, budget accordingly. <laughs> All my numbers people out there are like, yes, budget accordingly. <laughs> Okay, um, we will be back with the trade soon. They've been really busy over the summer and now that everybody's back to school, a little less maybe DIY projects, um, we should be getting some trades back and back to France on Friday. So uh, keep a lookout, have a good week, and I'll see you guys. Take care, bye.